Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. We are here with Meeple Station. If you didn't watch the previous episode, we went ahead and built some more bedrooms. We started this wing over here on the right. We added quite a few new Meeples to our station. Hacksaw, Kiwi, Clef, Vacuum, and Loophole the Doctor. We did a lot of research, ending with combat training. Uh, and now our mission is to continue to expand our station and to research and build fuel processing and eventually build a ship. So let's get this game going here. Station's kind of getting to the point where we need to make sure we're expanding it. Like I said, we're building new bedrooms. There's still a lot of dirt showing up on the ground. So we're gonna need to make sure we're cleaning that up as well. So my goal for the next 20 minutes is to build a couple more bedrooms to make sure all of our meeples have their own bedroom. Cause I think Loophole, yep, doesn't have his own bedroom. So we wanna make sure we get him one of those. And then uh, start working on fuel processing. We are kind of tight on our resources. Aluminum, we got 10. Steel, we got 39. So we need to make sure we're making a lot of that. So let's pick our next research. I think just because it's quick, let's go ahead and do glass sculpturing. It's only 25 research points. So we'll knock that out. And our objective is uh, research fuel processing and shuttle manufacturing to build your first ship. So we will eventually get to that. Since we're a little tight on resources, let's kind of expand here to the north-ish, I guess we will say. So we can build our next bedroom. I don't want to expand over here too much because there's that asteroid there. Eventually we'll expand that way. And it's gonna take more resources to get to the next set of bedrooms if we want to keep the sizing and everything the same. So let's go in and check on our meeples. Clef is a little bit with a low mood. Eight standing up. Feeling utterly loose, this eight standing up. So it sounds like we might need to also construct some more dining space as well down on the third floor. So let's take a peek. We could put a table or maybe some more chairs in here as well. But that, or we could expand it this way or maybe just expand this whole thing hmm, I don't know maybe expand this way because this takes one two three tiles so if we did chair so this would take six aluminum five each so 30 aluminum to expand it this way to get another table set in there maybe we do that or we could expand it that way as well I don't know we'll think about that first things first is getting the bedroom set up though so that's almost done building how are we doing on resources almost 10 aluminum okay so let's go ahead and plan two more tiles one two nope still one short and then what we'll do is we'll kind of build the bedroom like this put the door and the bed in at least just so they get their own private bedroom and then we'll continue to expand it click that there so that will allow us to build the bedroom we'll put the door in there and then i'm pretty sure the bed's made with steel so we should be good Yep, steel. So we don't have to worry about getting any more aluminum for that. So that's almost done. Let's put the bed in. You say aluminum, I say aluminium. All right, so refine 500 aluminum. That's nice. Another little check mark there for us. Let's go down to the ship that's docking. Who's it from? It is from the Pickle and Pickaxe Mining Company. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Let's buy the last of their aluminum. We'll buy their steel as well. We'll sell them some fish, not a lot of fish. I wanna make sure we keep ours. Buy their simple meals. What do we got, 390 coin. Do, do, do. All right, I think we leave it at that. Nice little lack dining area, yeah. So now we're gonna to need to build some more dining area. So poor bedroom, that's all right. And we'll get loophole's own bedroom. So now everyone has their own bedroom. Give them that privacy bonus. And we'll keep expanding the bedroom. So we'll do that. So that's gonna increase that by three squares. And then we'll do three more over here. And then next we'll do the dining room to continue expanding that. Research, almost done with glass sculpturing. Let's do, let's do comms relay next. So we can communicate communicate and hopefully maybe make some trade agreements. 
and then we'll have to do advanced electronics that's going to unlock field processing and or whatever that means happiness looks like it's staying stable in these guys stamina's down but that means they just need to go sleep clef still kind of feeling useless he's assigned as an engineer we might move him over to refiner now just so we can produce more and that still leaves us hacksaw as our engineer to build loopholes listed as a doctor let's put him in as a janitor again we'll probably switch these guys as we progress more hopefully he helps keep the area clean why is clef becoming more unhappy he's got full oxygen he's a little bit hungry brief chance slept on floor he's got a bedroom well hopefully he doesn't drop out the airlock here i wish you could tell them to go sleep or relax or whatever Relax dining, it's gotta be the dining. All right, so next we're gonna expand our dining room before people get too unhappy. And we got at least another tile of aluminum. Let's do that. And they can go out and build that. Let's pick another research. We'll do comms relay. So we can build that and get some trading agreements going. Research complete, yep, lack of dining, yep. That's okay. See, that bedroom's gonna finish expanding. We got another ship coming in. Looks like the Pickle and Pickaxe Company. Pickaxe Company, yeah, it is. Okay, buy their simple meals, sell them some fish. And then aluminum. We'll buy some aluminum off them. Buy some steel. And that looks like that's, we can sell them some biomass. Perfect. What we could also do is let's look at vacuum. Does he have any cooking? He's got 12. We're going to switch him off security guard and put him as a chef. So we can start to make some simple meals. So simple meals take two fish. And I got set at infinite, so they'll start to use our fish for simple meals. That gives them a small mood bonus over raw ingredients. So that'll be nice. Go back to the build menu here, 19 aluminum, so we can expand this even more, and then we'll put another dining room set right there. So I'll put eight tables, or excuse me, eight chairs with two tables for them to use. And then we'll expand that bedroom again and probably build one more just to be safe. As much as we like chug down on uh, the planet sending us more people, we can't really, we don't have any more room for anyone else. Space station still doing good. Bottom floor again, mostly all of our passive stuff, water, air, the rock grinder. Second floor is kind of the power floor with some of the, the items that need to be used. So we got the waste processor to make biomass, the refiner, the, uh, the refinery and the smelter, excuse me. And then the research station, a little bit of storage. Third floor, kitchen, dining room, the bathrooms, airlocks, trade, and then on the fourth floor again is all of our bedrooms. So we're doing pretty good there. Let's look at our resources. You can see we're starting to get some simple meals coming in, so that's good. It does take two fish, but that's all right. Almost got that done expanding. So let's do furniture. Basic chair. We'll do the steel chairs. Put a chair there. Put a chair there, put a chair there. Someone got injured. Halibut has been injured. Some types of injury rare medical treatment. Doctor for, okay. So let's switch loophole back to doctor. And let's go to Hacksaw. Uh, feeling misplaced at work. Who got hurt? I thought it said tent off work. Finer. Hmm. Okay. We could also get our botany going here soon. Since we got the chef, we could start growing some vegetables and make the uh, mid-tier fine meals, which take, I think, two fish and one vegetable. Yeah. So maybe we'll put some botany along this back wall. 
and get a botanist going. Let's see what we can trade for. We can buy four aluminum. We'll buy that. We will... Can't sell any more fish. We could sell fish, but I'm not going to sell any fish because we're kind of running low. Make sure we have enough to eat for our guys. All right, we'll leave it at that. And then we'll put this table in. Like that, there we go. And then let's look what we need for botany. Modules, hydroponics, five aluminum and biomass. So we can build, I guess maybe we could build the three here. Yeah, let's do three of them there. And then we're gonna switch Clef, because he's discontent with his work as a refiner. We're gonna switch him over to Botanist, because that's what he was originally bought up here, brought up here for. So he should now be a Botanist, good. And we'll get those built and start using those. We're approaching the time for potentially needing another bathroom built, but I think we're still good. We could always build up here on the fourth floor if we need to. And we can expand this bedroom. 15, perfect. Otherwise, everything looks like it's stabilizing a little bit. I was a little worried at the end of that last episode that we might have a, an issue or an incident with the just the number of people and not enough bedrooms, but I think we're in pretty good shape. Once we get this botany going, we can then, and I'll do it now before I forget, we can set this to infinite. So we'll make as many of the fine meals as we can. And we'll probably turn off simple meals once we get there, uh, just because it makes more sense. I mean, we're really just adding vegetables. Yeah. And we get a larger mood buff, medium mood bonus over the raw ingredients and over the simple meal. Research, we're almost done with comms relay. Maybe we'll put comms relay up on the fourth floor as well. That dirt is just building up though. A lot, a lot of dirt. So we'll need to have another janitor here soon. If someone else comes in one of the trade ships, hopefully there's someone in this one. Let's go to the third floor. Nope, but can we buy anything from them? No, simple meals we could buy. I don't want to buy any simple meals. Fish we're running low on. I could sell some of the silicone, but it's only one unit each. Aluminum more. No, let's sell. Let's sell some of the silicone. I'm gonna sell till they have 75. That'll give us a little bit more. Four or five, there we go. All right, a little bit more money in our pocket. All right, so the kitchen, or the dining room, excuse me, the dining room expansion is done. Let's put that last chair in. There we go. So that'll give us eight spots. So that should allow everyone to, to eat at all times. We're building our hydroponics, so that's good. So is it Clef? Yeah, Clef can start growing us some vegetables here. There he goes, hopefully. Yep. Hopefully he can then still get this one from this direction. But we'll see in a minute. Building that last chair. Let's go up here. Those rooms still need to be expanded. Uh, 13 aluminum. So we would need 15 to build out that. So that's gotten built. Let's see if he'll use that. Where's Clef? I haven't seen him. There he is. Let's see if he'll go. Nope, he's gonna go eat. That's all right. Research is almost done. Is that 33 out of 50? Yeah, 33 out of 50. Do we have a medicine cabinet? No, let's put a medicine cabinet up here. Glass bed, glass chair, nope, where's that medicine cabinet at? It's under modules. Yeah, all right, we got plenty of stuff for it. Let's just put it right there. So if we need to heal people, we can heal our meeples. So 
So I don't think he can reach that. Why are you sleeping on the floor, muskrat? Everyone's got their own bed assigned there, bud. Right? Yeah, no one's homeless. Hmm. Don't know. So he might need to delete this, because I don't think he can reach it. So let's go ahead and salvage that. I know that sucks, but it is what it is. Let's see what this trade ship has for us. <laughs> Almost out of fish. We do got plenty of simple meals. We'll buy a little bit of aluminum. So a little more silicone. All right, that's good. Uh, do, do, do. Okay, let's cancel that for now. I guess what we'll have to do is kind of expand the walls and then we'll be able to use it. It's gonna look a little sloppy, but that's okay. I'd rather it look sloppy and us be able to use it than it just sit there. That or we could salvage this one. Yeah, let's salvage that one. There we go. I wish we could move and I would just move it over to this corner, but I don't know if there's a way to move it or not. But that's okay. Let's switch over loophole back to janitor. Yeah. I know he's not going to like it, but it'll kind of help keep, keep the ship clean while we're waiting around. Just expanding everything. So that's at two, that's at two, that's at two. Alright, let's expand some more stuff here. Structure. Graded. Let's do that so it looks a little more squared off. Let's go up to four, and we're going to one, two, three. So that's 15, so we'll build that next. Build another bedroom, at least a, a small bedroom. Have that on standby. Comms, we'll have to build the comm station soon. Let's go to research. 43 out of 50 on comms, so that's almost done. I think next we'll do... We'll do decorative gardening. Just so we get that mood boost. I want to watch and make sure we use this hydroponic as well. Where's our vegetables at? I mean, we got three vegetables. So that's good. Alright. Bathroom break for Clef. Come on, come over here and use this hydroponic there, bud. Good. Alright, so we've got two hydroponics going. Maybe we put another one over here, or maybe we put the comm station over here. Let's see what it looks like before we make that decision, because we're at 49, so comms are going to finish here any second. Let's go up. They are building that bedroom, so that's good. We'll put the door in. Right there, perfect. And then we'll have to put the bed in, and at least we'll have another small bedroom ready to go. Research complete for comms relay. So let's do decorative gardening. And then let's go find the comms relay and see what that looks like. Except we need 50 electronics. So let's go to the trade ship, see what they've got. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ooh, we're not doing great on food. We got 12 simple meals, so that's good. Let's buy their fine meals. And then we'll sell off some of our silicone, I guess. We'll sell them 20 silicone. Perfect. Do they have any electronics? They do not. All right, so I think we have to increase our cap on electronics. Yep. So it was 50, so we're going to switch that to five zero. Minimum. So now they'll start to produce 50 electronics for us, and then we can build our comms relay. Overall, I'm liking the game. It's a good game. It's not anything crazy. Not a lot of, uh, I don't know. Not, it's not too crazy, it's easy. Certainly not a high learning curve, at least at the beginning levels. Uh, a little bit of, you know, your first station or two, you might have to figure out how to design it for the best. But it's not anything crazy like 
factoroid or anything like that or, or um, satisfactory where it's all about efficiency. Like, as long as everything's relatively close together, you should be in pretty good shape. You know, don't build a sprawling station and expect it to work. You know, you could build it high and, or, you know, kind of how we are going up levels, or I would imagine you could build it outwards and make it one large level, whichever way you want to do it. But I think we're in pretty good shape so far. So let's build that bed. Do, do, do. Rotate that, put that bed there. We've got plenty of aluminum, so we'll expand that. And how much more aluminum do we got? 22. So let's expand the bedrooms that are being used. Good, and that's starting to, that asteroid's being mined back, so we can build that there. And we can indicate that. So we'll at least get these out to three here in a minute. So all the bedrooms will be at least at two, and they'll be at three here very soon. We have 32 of our electronics, so I think Let's get that up to 50 and then build the comms relay. Got another ship coming in. Fruit, vegetables, fish. We got 20 simple meals, so that's good. Let's, we'll buy one. And then we can sell some biomass. We'll sell 10 biomass. And I think that's pretty good. Yeah, put this at 470. Great. So things are kind of humming along pretty good. I don't want to jinx it. Almost to 50 electronics. Aluminum's almost at 10. So let's go build. Put that there. Wait for the next aluminum. Put that there. So those will expand out to three. Is this one being used? This is being used. So we'll have to expand his bedroom over there soon. So it looks like the bedrooms have ratings and I wonder how we increase it. I'm guessing it's through plants and whatnot. Maybe some glass and dining. Glass bed, exquisite bed used for sleeping. Okay. Decorative piece of furniture. Do we come in and put foot lockers at the end of the bed? I'm going to put that in there, see if that improves his room. Because I'm not exactly quite sure myself. Let's see, 19 out of 100 on decorative gardening. Almost got our electronics. Chugging along on those vegetables, so that's good. I wonder where the efficiency point is at, is, uh, at for botanists compared to the number of hydroponic tables. I'd imagine there comes a point where they can only handle so many. So we might put, I'm still thinking we put the comms relay right here, depending on how big it is. So let's pull that up. Modules. Still at 47. Can I at least see how big it is? Is it going to go on the outside? Oh, it goes on the outside. There's an arm. Nice. Okay. Then actually, we'll put that. That's getting blocked over there. We will put that down here. Or no, let's go up to four. And we'll tuck that. I and mean, that's going to eliminate us from going that way. Yeah, I don't think I want to go more than six bedrooms or it'll become too much of a walk. So we'll put that right there. Let's see what happens. Our ship coming into dock. Let's see what they have to trade. Sell them some biomass. 497. We've got 12 simple meals. Steel, aluminum. We'll buy a couple of aluminum off them. And that should be good. So I think we're going to end the episode here. It's been about 25 minutes. So we, oop, pirate attention. So I think this is a really good place to end. Uh, it's quite sizable and you'll be attracted, attracting the attention of pirates. 
So I think in the next episode, we'll finish up our comms relay and take a peek at what all that involves. We got pirates potentially uh, coming our way, so we'll have to get our security guards set up and maybe a pillbox or two if we have those researched. But again, thank you so much for coming out and watching Tooth and Scrubs Gaming, and we hope to see you again. Thanks for stopping by.